Question 1. A nurse is advising a patient with a history of kidney stones. What dietary modification is most important to prevent recurrence? A. Limiting oxalate-rich foods. B. Increasing fluid intake, especially water. C. Avoiding caffeine and alcohol. D. Reducing calcium intake. Correct answer. B. Rationale. High fluid intake, particularly water, is crucial in preventing the recurrence of kidney stones by diluting the concentration of stone-forming substances in urine. Question 2. For a patient at risk of developing glaucoma, what is the most important recommendation? A. Regular eye exams. B. Wearing sunglasses outdoors. C. Using anti-glare screens. D. Limiting screen time. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Regular eye exams are essential for early detection and management of glaucoma, especially in at-risk populations. Question 3. A nurse is educating a patient on preventing carpal tunnel syndrome. What is the most effective advice? A. Take frequent breaks from repetitive hand movements. B. Wear wrist splints while sleeping. C. Perform hand and wrist exercises regularly. D. Use ergonomic keyboards and mice. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Taking frequent breaks from repetitive hand movements is crucial in reducing the risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome. Question 4. A patient with high blood pressure asks about lifestyle changes to manage the condition. What should the nurse recommend? A. Adopt a low-sodium diet. B. Increase potassium intake. C. Practice relaxation techniques. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. Rationale. A combination of a low-sodium diet, increased potassium intake, and stress management through relaxation techniques can be effective in managing high blood pressure. Question 5. In counseling a patient about reducing the risk of liver disease, what is the most important advice? A. Avoid alcohol. B. Eat a balanced diet. C. Get vaccinated for hepatitis A and B. D. Regular liver function tests. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Avoiding alcohol is critical for individuals at risk of liver disease, as alcohol can lead to liver damage and exacerbate existing liver conditions. Question 6. A nurse is discussing how to prevent seasonal allergies. What is the most effective recommendation? A. Use air purifiers in the home. B. Keep windows closed during allergy season. C. Take antihistamines regularly. D. Wear a mask when outdoors. Correct answer. B. Rationale. Keeping windows closed during allergy season can significantly reduce exposure to allergens like pollen. Question 7. For a patient concerned about preventing colorectal cancer, what dietary advice should the nurse give? A. Increase fiber intake. B. Eat more red meat. C. Limit dairy products. D. Consume more processed foods. Correct answer. A. Rationale. A diet high in fiber is associated with a reduced risk of colorectal cancer. Question 8. A patient asks about preventing the common cold. What should the nurse advise? A. Get the annual flu vaccine. B. Regular hand washing. C. Take vitamin C supplements. D. Wear a mask in crowded places. Correct answer. B. Rationale. 
Regular hand washing is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of common cold viruses. Question 9. A nurse is advising a middle-aged patient on reducing the risk of developing cataracts. What should be emphasized? A. Regular eye exams. B. Wearing UV protective sunglasses. C. Increasing vitamin C intake. D. Avoiding smoking. Correct answer. B. Rationale. Wearing sunglasses that provide UV protection is a key measure in reducing the risk of developing cataracts. Question 10. In discussing strategies to prevent lower back pain with a manual labor, what is the most important recommendation? A. Lift heavy objects with a straight back and bent knees. B. Take regular breaks during work. C. Use a back brace when lifting. D. Engage in regular back strengthening exercises. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Proper lifting techniques, such as lifting with a straight back and bent knees, are essential in preventing lower back pain, particularly in occupations involving manual labor. Question 11. A nurse is advising a patient on ways to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. What dietary change is most significant? A. Increasing protein intake. B. Reducing saturated fat. C. Cutting down on sugary drinks. D. Eating smaller, more frequent meals. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Reducing the intake of sugary drinks is important for preventing type 2 diabetes, as these can cause spikes in blood sugar and lead to insulin resistance. Question 12. For a patient concerned about the prevention of osteoporosis, what lifestyle modification should the nurse emphasize? A. Regular weight-bearing exercise. B. Taking calcium supplements. C. Avoiding alcohol and smoking. D. Increasing exposure to sunlight for vitamin D. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Regular weight-bearing exercises, such as walking and strength training, help maintain bone density and are vital in preventing osteoporosis. Question 13. A nurse is counseling a patient on reducing the risk of breast cancer. What is the most effective recommendation? A. Regular self-breast exams. B. Annual mammograms after the age of 40. C. Limiting alcohol intake. D. Eating a diet high in fruits and vegetables. Correct answer. B. Rationale. Regular mammograms after the age of 40 are crucial for the early detection of breast cancer, especially for those at increased risk. Question 14. A patient asks about preventing urinary tract infections, UTIs. What should the nurse advise? A. Drink cranberry juice regularly. B. Increase fluid intake. C. Practice good genital hygiene. D. Avoid using public restrooms. Correct answer. B. Rationale. Increasing fluid intake, especially water, is effective in preventing UTIs by flushing bacteria from the urinary tract. Question 15. For a patient with a history of heart disease, what is the most important dietary recommendation? A. Low sodium diet. B. High fiber diet. C. Reducing saturated and trans fat intake. D. Increasing omega 3 fatty acids. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Reducing intake of saturated and trans fats is essential in managing cholesterol levels and reducing the risk of heart disease. Question 16. A nurse is discussing how to prevent deep vein thrombosis, DVT, with a patient who frequently travels. What is the most effective advice? A. 
Wear compression stockings during long flights. B. Take aspirin before flying. C. Stretch and walk around every two hours. D. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Stretching and walking around every two hours during long flights or car rides can help prevent DVT by improving blood circulation. Question 17. In advising a patient on reducing the risk of developing lung cancer, what is the most significant lifestyle change? A. Regular lung function tests. B. Avoiding exposure to air pollution. C. Quitting smoking. D. Regular exercise. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Quitting smoking is the most significant step in reducing the risk of lung cancer, as smoking is the primary cause of lung cancer. Question 18. A nurse is educating a patient about preventing skin cancer. What is the most important recommendation? A. Use sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. B. Wear protective clothing and hats. C. Avoid tanning beds. D. Perform regular skin self-exams. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Regular use of sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher is critical in protecting the skin from harmful UV rays and preventing skin cancer. Question 19. For a patient concerned about preventing Alzheimer's disease, what dietary advice should the nurse give? A. Increase intake of fatty fish and nuts. B. Avoid processed foods and sugars. C. Consume antioxidant-rich foods. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. Rationale. A diet high in omega-3 fatty acids, found in fatty fish and nuts, low in processed foods and sugars, and rich in antioxidants can help reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Question 20. A patient asks about ways to reduce the risk of high blood pressure. What should the nurse recommend? A. Regular physical activity. B. Maintaining a healthy weight. C. Limiting alcohol consumption. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. Rationale. A combination of regular physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and limiting alcohol consumption is effective in preventing high blood pressure. Question 21. A nurse is advising a patient on reducing the risk of developing type 1 diabetes. What is the most accurate advice? A. Increase physical activity. B. Follow a low-carbohydrate diet. C. There are no known ways to prevent type 1 diabetes. D. Avoid sugary drinks and foods. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Currently, there are no known preventive measures for type 1 diabetes as it is primarily caused by genetic and autoimmune factors. Question 22. For a patient with a family history of prostate cancer, what screening recommendation is most important? A. Regular prostate-specific antigen, PSA, testing starting at age 50. B. Digital rectal exam every year after age 40. C. Biannual PSA testing, starting at age 45. D. Genetic testing for prostate cancer risk. Correct answer. A. Rationale. Regular PSA testing starting at age 50 is recommended for early detection of prostate cancer, particularly in those with a family history. Question 23. A nurse is discussing ways to prevent asthma attacks in a patient with asthma. What is the most effective recommendation? A. Use a peak flow meter to monitor lung function. B. Avoid known triggers, such as allergens or irritants. C. 
Keep a clean and dust-free home environment. D. Regularly use prescribed inhalers, even when symptom-free. Correct answer. B. Rationale. Avoiding known triggers is crucial in preventing asthma attacks. This includes steering clear of allergens, irritants, and environmental factors that can exacerbate asthma. Question 24. A patient asks about reducing the risk of age-related hearing loss. What should the nurse advise? A. Regular hearing tests. B. Avoiding exposure to loud noises. C. Using air protection in noisy environments. D. Regular air cleaning. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Using air protection in noisy environments is important to prevent damage to the inner ear, which can lead to age-related hearing loss. Question 25. For a patient concerned about the prevention of varicose veins, what is the most effective lifestyle change? A. Wearing compression stockings regularly. B. Elevating legs when sitting. C. Engaging in regular physical activity. D. Avoiding standing for long periods. Correct answer. C. Rationale. Regular physical activity, especially activities that involve leg muscles, can help improve blood circulation and prevent varicose veins. Visit nursestudy.net for more nursing practice exams, care plans, and study guides.